can't believe I'm in New York City and I'm at the Tribeca Film Festival. It's such an incredible place to be, but not only am I here, we are watching the screening of Rise of the Akulisi story and um, yeah, I just, I, I can't believe it. As a black captain for the first time led the Springboks, 28-year-old Sia Konisi rose to the peak of a sport long associated with apartheid. The Springboks under Sia Konisi made black people feel at home. Are you playing for the Springboks? Yeah, I'm playing for the Springboks. I used to go train in a thorny field. We were training bare feet. We were training bare feet. I think from the first day that I sat down with him and had a chat with him, I realized that he isn't a typical superstar. He isn't a typical athlete that's made it to the top and that's a god. He's human. Um, he was humble. In fact, half the time he was surprised that he had made it that far. And so I think that humanity of his shines through when you watch the film. I think it's a massive lesson for all of us. If somebody can make it to that peak of his career, and still maintain his humanity, and still maintain his grace, and still maintain his sense of kindness, I think that's something to learn. So I think if anything, people are gonna see a story of resilience, people are gonna see a story of winning against all odds, but I think the one thing that's gonna come through the most is how human he is. And I think that's a big lesson for all of us. You know, he was the perfect guy to film. We, we were nervous about what, how, how in depth he would go, and um, he really opened up and and I think that was the main thing in the film, was just about giving an honest portrayal of who he is. And our whole theme the whole way through was to create hope for young people, for kids in similar positions to him, that they can, you know, no matter what the adversity is, they can, with hard work and determination, get to a position that he got to, you know. This film is super special. It's about overcoming challenges. It's about inspiration. It's about motivation. And most importantly, it's about changing lives. This film will change lives because of the message. And it'll inspire people to do whatever it takes to be successful in life. We were so fortunate to have 60 Minutes do such an incredible feature about Sia. And not only that, there's been you know other documentaries and short pieces about Sia that have come out. But I think what's so important for Americans to understand is Sia's story is not an individual story, that there is so much in his story that is still existent for many South Africans today. And this film is really just a raw, very real, honest um, truth telling of his experience as a young person and what he had to go through, what he had to get through to get to the point where he is today and it also just makes all of his achievements that much more powerful and that much more impactful because he's had to go through so much as an individual um, and not only that he's he's stemmed off of this experience he's opened himself up and been extremely vulnerable with us and um, we've been able to do so much through our foundation the Colisi Foundation and um, see so many other kids lives change through it. Spot can create hope where once there was only despair.